to get some sun on her face? Yeah. She might enjoy the scenery as well. Yeah, uh, break her a piece of the sugar cane off and put a letter two on it. Sugar will make her go crazy. <laughs> uh, we still want to sleep tonight. Uh, <laughs> she's been a blessing so far, but... <laughs> I won't lie, I wish we could of plant this much sugarcane <laughs> in a farm. Fucking right. I wish we could plant this much in general, but I get why we can't. Yeah, yeah. Kinda wishing I could pick some of this on the way through. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome know. if that was Nobody a thing. Nobody would know. It'd be fun. <laughs> well, there's I mean, so I much of it. I know they use it. it for the rum and stuff. I know they can use it for certain things, but it's locked for a lot. Honestly, I think if you could harvest all the sugar cane, you probably would never need sugar cane ever again. Oh, yeah. It's too much. <laughs> you can start so many businesses I still don't know where the pineapples are. Candy and pie. You don't know where they are, Raven? I, oh. No, I, I don't. I haven't been uh, able to find them. I can show you, or they can show you, but uh, I don't think we're going to have time this one. No, but no, uh, I, I ain't place. worried about it right now. Later, yeah. maybe. Doors. Every time it's such a beautiful place to come to. It really, this is gorgeous. I I'm only it. slightly jealous. <laughs> <laughs> they were only just a little bit jealous. I don't know if you guys ever saw the back of it either. It's huge. No, I never have. I've never been up this way. I'll be honest. Oh, I got dang. lost this, in this, this area once. This is my first time in the mansion. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah, I we'll couldn't find our, my way uh, back out of the property don't for a worry. while. Well, come on in, have a seat. I will be right back. No uh, right. Oh, it's beautiful if you guys haven't seen. Like, uh. We're living at Ray scale or not. Yeah, Siobhan, uh, have Trina give you a tour. I mean, it's a really nice place. I can't get this chair. I want this chair next to you. So, like, hold on. Hey, did you have to, like, Endlessly try, it's annoying. Do, do you want me to move out so maybe the, you get to get a better angle? No, let me try, like... Well, now it's just taking yours. I don't know why I can't get... For fuck's sake, why is it taking the other one? Honestly, I blame Felix. I mean, I thought load skin to get the mud off of me like five minutes ago and it still hasn't happened. You might also just need a bath. It's actually not letting me. Let me try. Yeah, it's not letting me sit in that chair. I don't know why. It's stupid. I know as soon as I sit down, that shit's gonna work. There it goes. <laughs> Never mind, Felix got naked for a minute there. I mean, that's just Felix things. Sitting on the wrong side, but okay. Oh, should we, should we sit on all the same side? No, no, oh, no, the wrong side, the right side. There's no worries. Uh, I don't think there's any real sides that you need to be sitting on. No, we tend to just always stick to the same side. Oh, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Creatures of habit, right? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. understandable. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to change out of those clothes. Oh, no, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Tried the other one, didn't work. Next, you're gonna end up in Gonzalo's lap. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna sit in your damn lap. How do you have Guarantee you. Hello. Hola. 
Yeah. Trina heading up here? Yeah. Filling our flask. Ooh. Yeah, big young. You're sleeping. Hm. Also, yeah, I could use a shower as well. Jesus Christ. One day. Okay, last person we're waiting on is Lars. How's the baby, by the way? She's been a doll. Uh, I barely have any troubles with her. She uh, sleeps a lot. She giggles a lot. Yeah. I believe her mother baby. takes most of the. <laughs> most yeah, of the care no, of her I during do. the night. Yeah. Mhm. Mm She's still uh, playing with that little donkey toy. Yes, she is. Yes, she loves it. All good. So let's get down to business. What? Uh, oh, first of all, how much do you remember? Um, I don't remember too much, to be honest, but. Um, did you guys ever make it to the ice lake? I believe so. Yes, we did. Well, I don't, I don't like me personally. I, I don't remember. Uh, I just woke up in armadillo. My horse was uh, not in the stables, and there was no cocaine in my in my bags, which I most certainly stuck in my bags before. So there must have happened something. Yeah, yeah, I think something did happen. Um... And we didn't find anyone, not the the guy that we needed to find. No, we didn't either. Last thing I remember, we were heading up to Coulter without, uh, without anything, just hoping to catch whoever had him. Yeah. And I remember same. feeling pretty fucking stupid for some reason. As if I just walked straight out into the open <laughs> and let myself get shot. <laughs> or something like that. I just remember a feeling of, um, self-hate and dumbassery. But we had talked before when we were heading up there, and the one thing that we had agreed on was if your crew, if we had seen y'all and you had the, uh, the hostage, we were not going to attack y'all. I mean, that's much appreciated. That's one thing for sure. And I think, uh, I think most of us uh, agreed on the same uh, sentiment. Because at this point, right, I don't really fucking care if you get the orders or we get the orders or the Rufus get the fucking orders. As long as they stay away from the constituents and the Solomons. Uh, did you know that the syndicate was also involved? Uh, yeah, we may have shot a few of them up at Raskeller, actually. Oh, okay, so it was you. <laughs> that explains that. <laughs> okay. We shot the rest of... Oh, no, did we axe them? Did no, you axe them? No, you axed the rest I, of them. I axed them. 
I was wondering because I only them seen, a question. Yeah, we only seen three of them, so they must have had some more show up to get them or something. Yeah. So we rolled into Rat Scatler, and these guys, like, we're like, oh shit, these guys are fucking down. The hell happened there? So we load them up on the horses because we're not assholes, right? We're like, we'll drop them off at the medicos. And then two of their friends come rolling in with their guns up. And we're, of course, with their guns down. So the hands go up and go like, okay, listen, look, I'm going to look at... We didn't shoot them down. We were just going to take them to, uh, to the medicos. This is my distillery. So I don't know what fucking happened. They, like, kind of went off guard. And they're like, oh, yeah, no, just get the, the bodies of the horses. And then I just thought to myself, like, look, I can either take out the competition there and then. Or be a nice guy, and that's when I stuck my axe in the back of the head of one of them, and in accidentally yeah. hit my wife, and then killed the other. Oh Jesus! Oh. Yeah, no, we're talking about that later. Yeah, that that sounds like a conversation <laughs> for later for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that we both agreed uh, unanimously to fuck the syndicate. <laughs> Well, they that's they great. showed up. I think it was them. That was that's who in showed Pariso. up in Pariso, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were, were like, all, uh, like dressed up nicely. Mm, they were wearing masks when we caught them on Rathskeller too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, no, they were masks in Paradiso as well. But they came rolling into town. It's like asking questions. We were why the six of us were there, and it's like, well, we live here, so uh, I don't know what what you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah, it was rather quiet around here. It's like, yeah, the whole population is sitting on these horses. So like. <laughs> <you> know, <guys. laughs> But then Law came and uh, interrupted, oh, so yeah, we no, could no. get him. Yeah, Swift came with the, with a few of the other guys, and they were still masked up. We weren't, so they gave them a lot of shit. It's like and afterwards, it's like, oh yeah, Gonzalo, who were these guys? It's like, well, I'm guessing the syndicate. <laughs> uh -huh. And that's when we found them at Red Skeleton afterwards and took care of the rest. Man, those law was all over us in uh, in New Mexico. They every every town we went to. That uh, oh, who who's the the head uh, out there? So uh, who's like Jake. leading them? Jake. Uh, Jake Wolf. I've shot him before. I mean, hello. Shoot him again. Shot him. Right. So, yeah, he sometimes is an idiot, right? But mm -hmm. at least he's our idiot. So <laughs> I don't yeah. know about that. I mean, he seems to fear a lot more for his life than people like Jack Gray, so... <laughs> it could know. be like, worse. My, my working relationship with uh, Jake is uh, muy bueno. Is, uh, it, there's a sort of mutual respect, and he can't really fucking pin me on anything, so... He, he plays along nicely. That's good. At least you've got that. If you if you got one that you can play nicely with, you know... <laughs> I'll shoot him for you. How's that sound? Okay, that's, that sounds wonderful. I, yeah. <laughs> I think Jake realizes very well that uh, there, there's no non-criminals in New Mexico. <laughs> mm -hmm. So he lives in a fucking hotbed of people that wrongdo the law. And I think that as long... He thinks that as long as uh, we do it outside of New Mexico, he's not too bothered with it. He knows uh, that he can't touch us, but... I mean, he will not stop down from a fight either. Mm -hmm. So, what was he thinking coming here? Like, what, well, back on topic. Sorry about that. What's uh, what's your idea? Uh, One, well, you gotta really... stop the Solomons and the constituents some way. Mm -hmm. That's Absolutely. for certain. And I think we need to we need to think of a way. Of whatever happened uh, up north to be prevented. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that was yeah yeah that was. The fact that we both sides right don't have a recollection of it is kind of telling. Yeah. So I'm somewhat an idea of what happened. How's this sound? How about so these trips, events, whatever you want to call them, they seem to happen. After a storm, typically an hour or two. Mm -hmm. How about uh, next time one happens, mayhaps we could reach out to each other, hopefully within the day beforehand. You know, we've got a, well, sometimes we've got a whole day to plan. Yeah. And we can at least 
agree on certain terms, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, yeah no, the, like the, a good one. yeah, Trina. The terms, I don't care about that. Like, I, I we would have split the ones if we would have got this. We would have split it with you if you guys wanted. It. I mean, I don't. That's not the. It's for fun, you know. It's to have fun, and have a good time. But we don't want others to continuously prosper. You know what I mean? At the detriment of everybody else. I'm getting a little tired of uh, the way they've been kind of. I don't want to say stacking the deck, but it's definitely been working in the favor of certain few. Yeah, it does seem like uh, some some things that we thought were clear uh, are bendable for them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Some some uh, just at least we can iron out if there's some issue over what what the plan is. Mm -hmm. Oh, At least we yeah. can agree on some things. Like yeah, when yeah, it yeah. comes to it, right? I, I don't want anyone to be suspicious of uh, like working in cooperation or anything. Like if it have to come to it, then by all means, we do a fist fight, we do a fire fight. Uh, I I'm not too too bothered about that, right? Mm -hmm. We we take our injuries and and that that's it. But. If we can prevent some sort of things, then that would be better. I would love it if we could count on each other in the next event. Definitely. 1,000%. Also, um, a little off topic, but uh, we would definitely like to help in um, <laughs> touching uh, oil uh, drilling expeditions that people <laughs> might find themselves on because yep. I'm definitely looking for them to do that anywhere close to us. So. Yeah, if you guys are down for that, we're definitely down to help. Oh, you heard about that? I oh, did, yes. After the fact, um, unfortunately, I was not awake, um, and, and I didn't hear, but yeah, after. Hmm. Have, so, uh, sorry, go ahead. After Rhiannon passed away, right, we went to Solomon Town uh, a few days later, and uh, we were there with Sonia, and... There was a lot of annoyance, so we were wondering what it was, and I don't think it's the oil rig that was hit. I don't know where I heard that, um, but they were talking about the an accident or like a mishap from you guys' side. Uh, I think the the first one uh, was an accident. Yeah, the second one. Uh, you know, we only heard about it being people who may have sounded similar to us, but they were dressed different and uh, had masks on, so who knows, right? Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people with a lot of fantasy, I reckon. Mm -hmm. That's disappointing, yeah. Mm. Sorry for that. It's all right. We know how it goes, especially with the Solomons. But if y'all ever see their smoke coming from uh, your side, uh, you, you just let us know. For sure. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if they're still gonna be drilling in New Mexico. To be honest, my, they might actually move back after what you did. Good. We. Because, what happened with us wasn't in New Mexico. It was uh, around Strawberry area. Yeah. So normally they used to drill right in front of Rat Scatter and Pancho tax them for it and I think they now now that they I don't know why there's suddenly oil up in the fucking north right and out of all fucking things do they need that as well but that's beside the fucking point mm -hmm. <sighs> so I, I think they wanted to get away from Pancho and now are seeking these other spots and they uh, yeah, they're trying to drill there, but maybe they come down now again. They're not too happy with the roofless either. Oh no, how terrible. Yeah, yeah my heart weeps. <laughs> yeah. And between us, we already decided next time we see them at Rascal, we're going to send a crew at them ourselves. So I think they're going to get hit at all opportunities. Good. After... Uh... After whatever happened today, uh, I ain't 
I ain't feeling too forgiving towards them. No. For sure. Yeah, no, I it's know. just... Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you first. No, I was just going to say, there's a frustration level, you know, and they have to realize that people will get frustrated if every advantage is, is skewed a little bit, you know what I mean? And they don't seem to understand that, and they think it's okay to continue to leverage that and act like, you know, they deserve, they're deserving of that. And I think that cockiness is what's going to really cause them a lot of problems going forward. That's very well put, Felix. I mean, the fact of the matter is the cockiness is helping them right now. They're uh, they're fucking swimming in these orders. Yeah, but that just means we could just stake out the freaking places and, and, you know, they happen to do a freaking thing in the mountains. They don't have to worry about just law. We can come in and get them too if we want. I don't yeah. know. It's hard to watch those things, though. It's hard. They're, I mean, unless you listen for the, the dynamite to go off. I mean, you see the plain view, that's one that can guard up easily. I guess we need to talk to Reno again. Yeah, see if he'll let us know when they're up that way. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. I mean, basically, all we do is just ride out looking for smokestacks. <laughs> and uh, at this point, you find a smokestack, you're finding Solomon's. Yeah, I mean, they're only ones that are actively using their drilling license. We're looking, we still need to send a telegram because we actually want uh, the little lady over there to uh, to acquire one so we can actually start drilling ourselves yep. as well because it seems like a very lucrative business. Oh, um, yep. In that case, we should definitely find some way to identify y'all before it's too late. You just let I, me know if you do that. I mean, in all fairness, we, we would never the go up. outside New Mexico. Oh, like, there's enough. no fucking point for us. Uh, I've got the, the distillery right behind the, like, behind it, the, the one spot. I, I would not see why I would go anywhere else. I have a storage there. Yeah, Out of curiosity, how often can the same spot get used? It's, it's just, so the thing is, it's resource intensive. So it takes a little bit to get all of the needed resources. Again, I right. think you can go right away. But um, t does anyone know if there is like a period of time where the oil doesn't come out the uh, ground? I'm just kind of curious if it needs to be so. every couple weeks, once a month. You know? No, no, no. They were yeah. drilling every week at some point. Like, okay. there's, there's literally no... Yeah, then we definitely wouldn't need anywhere else besides home. And, I mean, there's also one next to the fucking Fort Mercer, so... Yeah. You can work that out with the rest of the boys. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Trina, we definitely won the... Uh, I didn't hear the first part of the conversation because I was in my head, but um, we definitely want to come down and work something out to where we can be a little bit more on the same page because I think we're kind of shooting ourselves uh, in the foot, you know what I mean, by bumping into each other and not knowing or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. It happens, but at the same time, we don't like it. You know what I mean? We don't like the, the fact that it was like, oh, because, you know, we were like, oh, if anything, hopefully the hateful get it. You know what I mean? And then it's like, oh, shit, Solomon's fucking hell. Right. And yeah. yeah. Oh, if we could at least, like, um, you know, see each other's, because we always do, like, a poncho or something for these sorts of things. Just just clear each other's outfits mm. so we can recognize you recognize each other on the field, something like that. I would love that. Raven, do you still have your outfit on? See. Si. Can you show the poncho? Out on the table. Can stand on the table. The, the, the <laughs> That's not what I was trying to do. Shush. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have seen that us. poncho, yeah. You see black and red accents, it's always us. Uh, is anyone here wearing the poncho we wore? Uh, I was just wearing it right before, uh, when I brought oh, you guys up. Poncho. The orange yeah. and red yeah. one. Got yeah, you, got we you. may okay. switch it up next time, because that one's a bit too common. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's... that's... That's why we went for that one. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, not only that, the red contrasts well with the black and 
-hmm. It contrasts so very much with we, our daily appearance. We had a moment then where you all were following us across New Mexico and then circled off somewhere else. Did I see the ponchos there? Yeah, we seen y'all in passing, and uh, uh, we we were so tunnel visioned on a location we were sure that he would be in that we just uh, we just kept going. But I said howdy, and not one of you said howdy back. I don't think I've heard you. Never so heard we you. We were a little bit tense at that point because um, we were on our way to fucking uh, the lagoon or uh, whatever the lake is called. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Follow like. We were also being fucking chased by marshals and WSO, so. Yeah, well, was yeah. all up in our assholes for this one. Mm. Well, unfortunately, the stupid shits in Parisio kind of alerted to stuff going on with their stupid shit down there. Yep. Oh my God! They oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They they went they went and told them. <laughs> Yet they were looking for someone and everything. I mean, they basically went and told the, the idiots yeah, they, exactly. Yeah, they tipped off exactly what was going on in that brief conversation. Yeah, they they were not subtle at all. That was disappointing to watch, honestly. Yeah, it's crazy. Here, I'm going to give you all a, a little something as thanks for coming out here. Oh, of course. Yes, yes. I mean, it's also good to see your friends, right? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. on, on good occasions. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it'll be nice if next time we can meet up uh, and actually remember what happened. I mean, Sorry. this would be very wise, and then uh, like uh, at least have uh, one group with papers in their hands. That would also be better. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Not for you, Marty. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, kind of rude, but it's fine. <laughs> Thank you, I was thank surprised you. about the low numbers that showed up, though. Yeah, yeah, me too. It was uh, different than what I expected. I mean, I guess it's a little bit early for the constituents. I guess the roofers were a little bit uh, divided. Yeah, I, I saw had them standing around oh, thanks, in uh, Armadillo. Have they done any one of these? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have. Uh, yeah, yeah. They were... On they the were the on the island. Or on yeah. the island, yeah. Yeah. I saw them there. But I again, see. right? That's where we and them engaged yeah. in the fucking firefight, I think. Yeah, no, <laughs> actually, I'm pretty sure we engaged with them in a firefight as well on the island one. Yeah. I mean, at first, oh, we, yeah. we, we we had it out with the Solomons, and we, we, we shitted on them pretty bad, because we I only had three. That's exactly our situation. We shot down the Solomons, and then we found the Ruthless and got into a Wait, fight with you, them. So, where, where the fuck were you guys then? Because we came from behind them with a boat. We they, saw them pass, and then yeah. they went to the island, and then we we slowly drifted out. You guys must have found them uh, like after they came back, you know? Because uh, we shot them down as they were trying to... Um, like, cross an island, like, towards the end, and then, they, they, they must have come back. And, oh, so know. we, no, we, we stranded them on the island, right? They had a boat. Oh, um, We okay. opened up on them, and they panicked, and the boat disappeared, and they mm. were stuck on that island, so we held them the, on uh, the island for a long time. The boat okay. may or may guys. not have allegedly yeah. caught on fire. <laughs> yeah, we guys. shot the crap out of them for a while. They got so, I'm sure they got... We were taking shots it. on them on that island too while like there was confusion. But they tried to cross to our island, um, and uh, yeah, we laid them out. Well, the, I figured if I couldn't get the headshot, I'd try to catch them it. on fire, and it almost worked. Hey, look at us yeah. unintentionally working on the same people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's good, but. I yeah, mean, the no. sad part is, is that the, they woke up again and then yeah. were yeah. right in time for the big finale, so that's. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. I think uh, they need to do something about, about that. I get it, it sucks for if you no longer can participate, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that one was another one where it was, it seems like rules were allowed to be bent that we wasn't aware of. Things like having an extra set of people waiting off to the side. Yeah, we understood that yeah. it was... Uh... If you all went down, you could come back, but, 
not have extra. people jump into the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I heard that the constituents had like a whole brigade of people sitting mm-hmm. at the manor just waiting, like waves yeah, going in when they needed it. That's what I heard as well. And yeah. Uh, and yeah, it just seems like every time there's some bending that has allowed people to get a leg up. Uh, at least, at, at the very least, we can we can control this much, and we can be friendly to our friends. Yeah, yeah that would be great. I mean, would the government complain about the people not shooting each other? No. I mean, they can't I... force us to shoot, right? Exactly. No. I don't believe so. And and I believe, and unless they say otherwise, we can work out a deal where. Yeah, we split the 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 prize or whatever. I don't. I, why do we Why do we care about that? You know, we can mm-hmm. have fun and enjoy it, both of us. I don't see the government saying, "Oh, you can't do that," because, I mean, originally in the first one, uh, the attack on the fort. That's how it was. You know, you could team up and split stuff if you want. You know, what I mean, you, it was all about that. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is one of those times where, like, we would assume since it wasn't specifically allowed in the rules we might assume like oh it's not allowed but considering that you're able to get get up from being unconscious and just run right back into the fray all of a sudden I have a feeling that a lot of rules just don't apply in these mm-hmm. yeah and I'm sick of trying to read people's minds and I'm sick of obeying rules that don't exist and at the very least the one thing that I can't do is not shoot my friends so I'm really glad that you came out here yeah. today yeah I mean the, the Tony felt right uh, I, I personally think I, if they give us a set of rules right then these rules need to supersede whatever rules are already in place mm-hmm. right and if there's no rules for it it just defaults to the rules that we already know. Yeah, if if there is something that is allowed, it has to be stated in the rules, or else yeah. you know, which, why I mean, you that's, make a rule set? If you tonic someone up, you can't re-engage. Mm-hmm. If there's no rule in this uh, specific rule set, then that's still the old rule applies. And exactly. I mean, that's what been, I assume. We've been playing. Yeah, we've been playing by that, but they haven't. You know, what I mean, that's that's mm-hmm. the thing. So I think that. If they're allowed to get away with it, I mean, I hate to say it, but they're going to break the rules or bend the rules. I mean, it's not fair to us that, you know, that we're trying to abide by them and then we're just being punished because, you know, we're Mm -hmm. not, you know, we're not able to continue forward or whatever it might be that's keeping us from, you know, going further. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. It just Mm -hmm. seems like, uh, like some people are able to bend rules and get away with it Mm -hmm. and, uh... Uh, do things that shouldn't be physically possible. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and we're just expected to what be okay with that? No. If they can do it, we can do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. If if they clearly mentioned if it, if we can, then obviously we're gonna use it as well. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, you can go on about the fucking rules for ages. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. About these fucking plans that they got, though, we know where they need to go. Yeah, I say do we we, we want to stake them out. I say so. I say, what do we have to lose? I mean, we might as well take advantage that we know they're gonna be at some places at certain times. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, it's really up to everybody else, but I just don't think that they should continue to reap the rewards. Fully. Yeah, no, honestly. I agree. No. I'm game for whatever, just tell me when and where. Yeah. Oh, what location are we talking about here? Well, it's going to be either Ansberg, Plainview, or Mount Hagen. Oh, oh, so once they... They don't have to, like, turn in the orders, they just use them no, there? No, have you, have you used the new orders yet? No. Nah. Ah, so okay. we got the... Okay, go ahead, tell it. Yeah, we got the first batch uh, because uh, we still had the fucking... The order... Uh, mm-hmm. Things right. The stupidest and thing ever. Sorry. So we just went to Mount <laughs> Hagen, read the telegram carefully, and that's when I, everything started. Ah. Okay. Okay. 
So basically, they have they have a mission already that they can just go choose. Um, I mean, it, it's no, specific no, it to a location. It. Yeah, it's specific, it's specific to a location. To location. But I think it when when they get them in these things, it, they get so many of them, right? So they get one or two from each location or one location. You know what I mean? They get like a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we just need to to catch them while they're there. Yep. And we already know that the people that have these orders ain't no friends of ours, so it's yep. pretty easy to well, differentiate I mean, there. I think if we couldn't get them in, like, the situations like today, we can get them in uh, other ways. A after the know? fact, yep, yep, yep. yep. The only thing we, we do have to be mindful is I believe now uh, law is notified every time, so we got to be wary that when we're coming in to scoop them up that law might be shortly behind us correct i know that oh, because so i not, kept there's, hearing there's not a tripwire thing anymore i don't think so i think law gets notified every time now for some reason uh, the tripwire might delay uh, the notification but i mean we'd have to fucking test i have no fucking clue yeah, and uh, I've heard that, uh, I just heard the repeated spanking of the bastards by the law, which was absolutely hilarious. Uh, when I mean, they got last time we Kelly's did it, orders. we got fucked. Really. Yeah. Oh yeah, they, they, they took every freaking high angle they could get and just sat there. Was it Coulter? Yeah, yeah it was, Coulter, it was, wor that was the worst. Ten guys, I think. Yeah. yeah, that's mm, I yeah I've heard I've heard that spot is really difficult to get away with when law comes. But um, like I said, that that means that we you know we can stake out. Obviously, Plainview is very close by. We hear something. Um, Coulter, we might have uh, some people that we can rely on if they hear the explosion go off. Um, the one here in Annisburg, or the one in Annisburg, obviously, we're pretty far away. I don't know how we would notify about that one, but we can definitely keep an eye out for their asses. Because, I Absolutely. mean, we also can see when they ride in, you know, six deep, we know they're up to something. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I mean, there's the so their quirkiness is their downfall, right? It's um, when they were doing this whole order stuff. And yes, I'm just going to say that they were doing it. Because I don't care at them in, anymore. Is um, I believe Felix and a few others caught them at Mount Hagen. And there was one guy sitting on his fucking golden Turkoman with the same bridle and the same saddle as Tommy Solomon. And they were playing dumb as if we're, we're stupid. As if we don't know who the fuck is dumb enough to ride a golden Turkoman and be that guy. Well, it's not even that bad. I saw them earlier in the day. They were coming from Plainview. Um, they rode by me, and Tommy said Shalom as he rode by. <laughs> All six of them. So he didn't know it was me oh, because I was in the wild, but he, he, he still was dumb enough to say, you know, his catchphrase. So, yeah, it was pretty made pretty obvious early on, but, you know, what can you do? Yeah. And yeah. was it again? Was it William? Oh yeah, we had William posting posters with the the order message on it. That was funny as well in Tumbleweed. <laughs> yeah. Come on, amigo. And uh, yeah, now so many times uh, they just happen to have things work out so well in their favor. Like I heard uh, at the the fight night event, one of the fighters wasn't even part of their twelve. That's what I'm saying about uh, about some people being able to bend rules that I didn't even know could be bent. Mm. They got. I mean, I was gonna say it was close for that for the fight night because we went oh, up against them, right? And yeah, um, that was close. We only had mm. uh, three or four people that we came with. We didn't have like you know a full group or whatever. I don't know. Maybe we had like one short or whatever it was. No, no, we um, four. Did we? No, we circled tw two people, right? You went twice. No, oh. I had to go twice because we were fighting Julio. Uh, oh, for the tie, the break, pad break, yeah, like Trina. Yeah, break. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, they didn't have it easy. They almost lost. It was pr it was pretty close from what I heard <laughs> as far as people falling down. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, no, those type of things are just frustrating because 
it just seems like they're in the right place at the right time every time it needs to be that way. Yeah, exactly. All we I can mean, do is keep doing our best for now. To, to be honest, right? It's not really hard to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, exactly. Especially considering that we know the three places to go to. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, banks payouts are ass right now, as our stores. I got nothing better to do, and I've got a lot of rage in my heart. <laughs> you could say you're hateful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. you could say that, yeah. That hateful builds up in you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, got me a perfectly good target. Oh, I, I, uh, Trina, just on a funny note, I know we were talking not too long ago in Armadillo about uh, one of our friends um, terrorizing Solomons. Uh, he was having fun at it for a while. Uh, we went and actually bumped in. Uh, we, I don't know why we had to go through Solomon Town, but Tommy saw us. We were picking up something or doing something there, and Tommy saw us and pulled me and Gonzalo aside and was pretty, pretty uh, scared that... Uh, this group of terrorists came in and freaking lit up his town and, and terrorized them all day. Uh, they were on lockdown. He was he was scared shitless pretty much. He said. I mean, he yeah, said that. Yeah, they kind of traced Larry back to me, uh, but we managed to push him off in time. Yeah, it's interesting how uh, someone's got so much favor and yet so many enemies. <laughs> kind of, kind of very similar to the whole Gene Kelly situation, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Have you heard anything about that? I guess uh, he's not around anymore, huh? Because uh, I don't think mm, he... good riddance. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if uh, he's even employed at the what you call it anymore, the uh, oil fields. Oil fields? Nah, he ain't. Uh, thingy. Uh, what's it called? Went on a trip. Ah. Uh -huh. He went on a personal trip or a forced trip? Uh, hmm. That's a good question. Ah, uh, yeah, no, no. Worries. I hope, <laughs> whatever it is, I hope to never see his fucking face again. <laughs> the G in Gene Kelly stood for gatekeep. And I don't know how that man was able to have access to so many things that he could gatekeep because, good God, the fucking entire oil economy of the Commonwealth was suffering while he was there. Mm hmm Oh, uh, yeah. That's, that's always fun, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. I, uh, I, I remember Thorne and Hartcliffe talking about these guys, and they were loathing them when uh, they wouldn't... Uh, so Thorne and Hartcliffe demanded the price for the oil, and then they were like, no, we're only paying this much, and then they wouldn't even meet them halfway, and... Basically, it came to the point where they wouldn't just do any deals with any Mexicans. It's kind of... Especially when there's only one fucking location on the map, right? You you cannot do that. There's, there's you no can't. Way. You absolutely can't. That's... Yeah. I mean... Like, Bell's the only beekeeper, right? Only Sorry. Bee, bee owner. It, if, she, if she went around making enemies the way that that man did... And, uh, you know, denying honey to people just because she didn't like them, because she herself robbed them and then didn't like them anymore. That uh, that would be enough to make her lose the apiary. Yeah, most definitely. As soon as you gatekeep something, then the government steps in and they start getting annoying about it. But mm -hmm. unless... Uh... You have a very beautiful voice and are liked by certain people, I guess. Yeah, seriously. But anyways, oh, well. uh, it's yeah. about to be storm. I'm kind of winding down for the night. And uh, I think uh, I think I'm going to have to pass out pretty soon. No worries, Drew. Uh, that's very good. I have a feeling, uh, like I have a hunch, right, that some of your amigos might be uh, awake after storm. Yeah, I think so, too. Well, you're welcome to hang out on the island, and uh, if you want anything from this loot, good God, put the knife away. You've got a baby on your chest. <laughs> oh, she likes knives. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I bet she does. You know what? When she gets old enough uh, to hold one of them play bows, 
just let me know because I always have some kid sized bows with little tiny uh, toothpick arrows that they can shoot. Oh, that's, nice. that's cute. Yeah, they're the kids level. I was thinking level. about the miniature molotovs, but um, I guess. <laughs> okay, not the cleanup. On okay, that. I'm gonna have well, to say we're we're nixing the molotovs. What do you mean? I bought the little bottles already. You can fill with the, the explosives and just you can just toss them. <laughs> yeah. What? Hey, come on, she's, a, she's an Ortega, right? She's gonna love fucking Mar Mexican barbecues. Uh, yeah, okay, it's great. <laughs> can you at least amazing. wait until she can lie? Hey, Trina, that's Talk. a new menu item? That shit looks awesome. Oh, but that's what, young enough. Okay, mm -hmm. walk. Mm -hmm. walk. Oh, I'm glad you like okay, walk. Walk. That is awesome. Did you, um, that's a new item to the, to the restaurant? Or the saloon? I love you too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, actually, I'll ask Trina something too while we're Aww. here. Because I'm so mm -hmm. glad you Because I would well, think we should, uh, should we have our fat night, uh, Wednesday? Oh, or Wednesday, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it comes with the stick, right? You put it on a little she... wooden stick. Mm -hmm. Where does the stick go? Oh, Trina. Yeah. What's up? Ask you this before you, uh, knock out. We were thinking about having our little, like, uh, you know, brawl fat night. I would just like to note, I hate cutting through these stalks because of the snacks. <laughs> Ancient noodles. I swear, when I cut through there, they're hunting me, not me hunting them. Like, so I have nightmares until uh, 5 p.m. Words, fun. Use the words, shut up. I'm speaking. I got nightmares. So if it were if it were to take place, it'd probably be after that uh, 7 p.m. storm. Uh, That's really late for Trina though because she's, oh, she's up much too? earlier. Uh -oh. Yeah, yeah. So she's, should we have it at? Oh, 